Hi, I'm Mark Wintle and I'm part of the National Crucian Conservation Project. This very short video shows me fishing on one of Christchurch Angling Club's ponds where they've been part of this overall conservation project by redeveloping one of their waters to include one of the ponds just for crucians and tench. There are roach in there and rud, but the important thing is there are no carp. These ponds were first bought by Christchurch back in the 1980s when a former brickyard, which had its own ponds where they dug the clay, was sold. Christchurch bought a bit with the ponds and a housing developer bought the rest. Over the years, the ponds have had a, a bit of a mixed um, life. They've had their ups and downs. There was a leak in the bottom pond at one point. Uh, they were heavily stocked with carp, which were then predated by otters. As you can see from the video, the, the ponds are very scenic. The weeping willows, the lily pads, the reeds. Um, we've got flag iris, uh, forget-me-nots, all sorts of uh, wildflowers, lots of bird life there. And now there's an otter fence all the, all the way around the ponds, which are just a few miles north of Wimborne. At the moment, the Crucians aren't very big. They've been in there about three years. Um, they're sort of hand-sized. I'm not sure if they're breeding yet, maybe one day. Uh, apart from the Crucians, you often catch tench. Some of what we call bars of soap. They're a... Uh, just a few ounces, very slimy, very slippery, um, wriggle out your hands. And when I've been fishing for the Crucians, which is just using a, a small expander pellet on a size 16 and a short pole of about five meters, I'm hooking tench from time to time. So the elastic I've got on is a bit too strong, really. Um, but when you do hook a tench of a couple of pounds, they hair off and they'll be in the lilies on a light elastic. So it's a bit of a compromise. Um, this particular evening, I was only fishing a couple of hours. And initially, I caught lots of small roach, which the club would like to move into the second pond, and quite a few tench. But eventually, after a couple of hours, the tench, uh, sorry, the crucians were feeding quite well. And although I caught more tench to start with, that I ended up with about ten crucians, a bit like the ones that you'll see in a minute. It's good to see that some clubs are bothering to do this conservation with crucians all too easily. Um, the work is undone by well-meaning but misguided people who put carp into just about every water, even when they're not wanted. That's the last thing that we want in these ponds. If you need more information, go to crucians.org, which is Peter Rolfe's website, or the Christchurch Angling Club website, they have all their waters listed there.